Edge fillets add or remove material on a body by replacing selected edges or faces with cylindrical or conical surfaces. The edge fillet command is the basic filleting command in the 3D Experience V6 Katia. Located in the action bar under the refine section, if you select the downward arrow, a pop-up menu appears to show other options within the fillet. Let's go ahead and select edge fillet. Within our edge fillet definition dialog box, you see we have the radius. Here's where you place the size of the fillet that you want to create. Next, under Objects to Fillet, select the face or edges that you wish to fillet. You can simplify edge selection by setting Propagation to Tangency, which fillets any tangent edges to the picked edge. When picking a face, the system fillets all the edges in that face. So let's do a couple examples. I'm going to select this edge here, and notice it turns red. If you want to see a preview of what you'll get, go ahead and select the Preview button. If I want to select more than one, I can by selecting each one. I also can select an entire face, select Preview, and notice now my entire face with the edges have been filleted. Let's go ahead and see what that looks like by selecting OK. Notice how our edges are now filleted. Let's go ahead and open up edge fill up again, and under propagation with tangency, there's a drop down menu. Now tangency fillets all tangent edges to the edge picked in the graphics window. Minimal fillets only the edges picked in the graphics window. Intersection, this option is more efficient as it decreases the number of picks. Regions that have tangent discontinuity are automatically filleted. Intersection with selected features. By picking part design features, it fillets in regions that have tangent discontinuity with other part features. The selected features are actually defined as the object to fillet. For most cases, you'll be end up using just tangency. Now below that, we have variation. And within variation, you have two choices. You have a variable and a constant. The fillets we created just previously were constant fillets. If we select variable, notice how the points in variation areas are now activated. Variation basically defines how the fillet behaves between control points in a variable fillet. To demonstrate this, let's go ahead, cancel out, and let's remove the fillets as we just created. Let's open up edge fillet and I'm going to select variable and again I'm going to select this edge here and notice already we have two points on either end of our edge. We also have under variation a choice between cubic and linear. Cubic defines a cubic variation between control points for a variable fillet. Linear defines a linear variation between control points for a variable fillet. So let's go ahead and select that, and let's go ahead and select Preview, and notice we have basically a normal looking fillet. If we switch that to Linear, hit Preview, we still have basically the same. Let's add some more points within our line. To do so, make sure you're highlighted in the Points box, and go ahead and take your cursor, and anywhere on the edge that you selected, go ahead and place some points. Now notice if you can, you have radiuses there. And you can increase them by actually clicking and dragging on the arrow. And we'll make that one a little smaller. And let's go ahead and hit preview. And notice we're in linear variation. Notice the shape it takes. Now also you can take these points and you can actually move them as well. Let's go ahead and switch back to cubic and hit preview and notice how our fillet now looks. So depending on what effect you want your fillet to have, you can change the variation between cubic and linear. At any time while within variation you can place more points to create more variable fillets within that edge. When finished, go ahead and select OK, and notice the fillet you've created. 